saw, for instance, uh, uh, with the advent of uh, uh, spare parts that we go on incorporating in our own bodies. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you <laughs> refer, for instance, to the case of the pacemaker, uh, in which, let's say, the biological part is, was, was still dominant mm -hmm. over the mechanical mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. incorporation. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I understood it uh, that uh, as you progress along the future, you would reach a stage where the human being could not be as recognizable as he I is today. I believe that will be true. It m I don't believe it's true now, um, but I think that uh, we can... The real cyborg, which would be a part human, yeah. and most of it machinery. Uh, well, except that when we say machinery, we think of big things. Mm. In fact, they may be... Minute. Biological machinery. Well, they may be bi bi biological, and they may be so tiny that you don't even recognize it's there. That is, uh, we're going to nano-scale uh, technologies. Uh, what is that? That's a billionth of a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's so tiny. Uh, and we have uh, a lot of work going on, for example, in neuro uh, neuroscience. Uh, a study of the brain uh, and so forth and I think that in 50 years or perhaps uh, 75 years we will in fact uh, root, uh, regard it as routine to uh, have uh, implants of one kind or another in the, uh, in the body or on the body um, and that uh, we may very well um, uh, after a while uh, have to define what do we mean by human? How much, how, how mm -hmm. different can you be and still be regarded as human? As human. There's a wonderful, wonderful book uh, that uh, we read years ago and I've never forgotten. It's by a French author, probably now gone, named Vercor, mm -hmm. V E R C O R. And he wrote this book about an island uh, in the Pacific. Uh, on which uh, they discovered a species of a creature uh, that um, was like a, uh, an ape, but much more intelligent. And um, he came to the he visited that island and came to the conclusion that these creatures were essentially human. And um, came back to Australia, and the word got out. And the bus business guy said, oh, really, if that's smart, we can put them to work, and we don't have to pay them. So they, in fact, did. They went and brought some of these creatures and tried to uh, essentially exploit them as uh, free labor. Uh, but, the, but the original uh, hero of the book uh, said that uh, they were human. And the, and the other side said, no, they're not human, they're animals. He therefore took a baby from the species and took it with him to London. In London, he shot the baby and called the police and said, I have committed murder. And there then followed a trial in court in which the decision had to be made. Was that human or was that Incredible not human? Plus. It's a wonderful, wonderful Incredible story. Plus. A wonderful story. And it raises precisely mm -hmm. this issue. This ethics, which uh, it's an element that keeps on coming into your work through 